Traffic version 2 and this is the fourth video in this series and in this video we are going to look at middlewares. By the way, if you land in this video and if you want to follow along, I would highly advise you to watch all my previous videos in this series. So in the first video we saw how to deploy traffic ingress controller. In the second video we saw some examples on how to create uh, ingress routes. And in the third example, third video we saw how to encrypt your web applications by requesting SSL certificates automatically by traffic using traffic and in this video we're going to take a look at some of the middlewares and for this video again I've got my traffic dashboard running and the setup is exactly the same as all my previous videos and I'm going to go to traffic.io learn traffic proxy and middlewares where is it it's here and these are the list of middlewares that we can use I'm not going to go through each one of them but try a few of them here maybe add prefix basic authentication right I've got my kubernetes github repository cloned already so I'm gonna go to kubernetes yaml's ingress demo traffic and in here I'm gonna go to middlewares right if I do a kubectl get all, so this is the uh, the three nginx deployments that I've been using as uh, as an example throughout the series, and three nginx deployments with three services kubectl minus n traffic get all. I have Pebble running as the Acme server within the cluster, so that traffic can request certificates in middlewares. I've got four examples to show you. One is add prefix, then script prefix, redirect scheme, and basic auth. So why do we want to use middlewares? So we've got the, if I show you the traffic dashboard, we have this entry point. For example, if I take one of these examples, we have the entry points. That's where the traffic incoming traffic comes in. And then we have the router that we create. Those are the ingress routes that contains the rules that tells what to do with the incoming request and where to forward them. And then the backend services. So now what we can do is when we receive the request through the entry point, we can do something. If you want to process the request before sending it to the back-end service, we can use middlewares. So we've got a list of middlewares here. Let's take a look at one of them. Add prefix. And if I cat that file, all right, so what, what have I got here? So I've got a middleware resource, kind is middleware, and you've got a list of middleware. And if you want to look at an example, you can basically go in here and look at the Kubernetes and you will have an example for each one of them. Basic auth, go into Kubernetes and you've got an example for all these. And I've got that middleware resource. And then I've also got an ingress route. Okay, so if you take a look at this ingress route, it has got a couple of rules. The entry point is web, couple of rules. If it's nginx.example.com, the match for host is nginx.example.com, then it will be directed to the nginx deploy main backend service, no middleware, nothing. If the host is nginx.example.org, it goes through this middleware. The name of the middleware is nginx.add prefix, which is the, the name that we've given to this middleware. And basically add prefix just adds the prefix before sending the request to the service. So my request is for nginx.example.org but when it hits the router ingress route the traffic controller it adds this prefix slash hello to the url before passing it to the backend service so that's all this middleware is doing that's it i'm going to create this middleware now kubectl create minus f add prefix.yaml okay so the middleware is created ingress route is also created ingress root yep and we have this middleware nginx add prefix do k okay, get middleware yeah nginx add prefix middleware is there okay so we've created that what we're going to do now is kubectl get all the service is nginx deploy main so i'm going to look at the logs for this part okay so kubectl logs minus f nginx deploy main okay right i'm watching the logs for that nginx part so that i know what the request is coming in for right so now if i go to nginx.example.com so there's no middleware associated with this first rule nginx.example.com and i can see the welcome to nginx page and in the logs i can see some items some entries in the logs okay so there's nothing fancy in the log i'm going to clear the log and now if i go to nginx.example.org nginx.example.org 
and it says 404 not found that's expected because there is nothing in that path slash hello and if you look in my address bar here it still says nginx.example.org but internally it is sending a request to nginx.example.org slash hello because that's my middleware so that's the part that my middleware appends to it before passing it to the uh, nginx service and you can see that in here so in the nginx logs if you see i'm doing a get request for slash hello so that that's what the middleware has done. Right, let's delete that kubectl delete the error server doesn't have a resource type one add prefix. Oh, sorry, kubectl delete minus f. Okay, that's gone. Right, yeah, the prefix that uh, this middleware is adding is slash hello, which is what we've seen in the nginx log. Okay, so that's cool. Let's take a look at the second example now. Strip prefix. So this is completely opposite. So if you're passing a path and it's going to strip that path from your URL before passing it to your service, let's take a look at that. Right, kind middleware. So basically I'm deploying a resource, middleware resource that says if the URL contains slash blue or slash green at the end, then just strip that prefix before passing it to the backend service. And I've got the ingress route here. And if it's nginx.example.com, no middleware is associated with this rule. So if match is nginx.example.com, it just goes to nginx deploy main service but if nginx.example.com is in the host name and if the url if the request contains slash blue as the path then strip that slash blue but still forward the traffic to nginx deploy blue service okay and if it's nginx.example.com is in the domain part of the request and then slash green as the path in that request then strip the prefix slash green and then forward the request to the service nginx deploy green let's deploy this kubectl create minus f that's done kubectl describe ingress route yep we've got this middleware attached to these two rules if we use nginx.example.com with a path slash blue or slash green then it should route to the appropriate service after removing the prefix okay let's try this out nginx.example.com is working fine and nginx.example.com slash blue and I'm taken to the blue service but still the URL is referring to slash blue but behind the scene it actually strips the slash blue part of the URL of the request before sending the request to my nginx service okay so that's working fine and changing to slash green takes me to the green service after stripping that slash and in the traffic dashboard I can go in and look at the rule. So we've got three rules through that ingress route, the nginx.example.com, that's the basic one. It doesn't have any middleware, so we've got the entry point, it hits the router, it knows where to follow the traffic to which service. So there's no TLS, there's no middleware. And if I go back to one of these services, so we've got the routes here, still they're not TLS protected, but we've got the middleware here, default nginx strip, the middleware type we are using is strip prefix. And prefixes are slash blue and slash green. If slash blue or slash green is in the request and it just strips it before passing it to the backend nginx service. Right, let's delete this. kubectl delete minus f. That's gone. And now let's take a look at the third option, third example redirect scheme okay so this is another middleware what i'm trying to do here is i'm creating a middleware service this is for the redirect scheme what i'm doing is if i got what i want to achieve is basically if a request comes in for a http service change that to https and forward the request to the https entry point web secure entry point that's all this middleware does okay so you don't have to all these middlewares the the idea is you don't have to touch your actual application itself so you can do everything without touching the application code with just in the middle using this middleware okay so this middleware is for redirect scheme and then we've got a couple of ingress routes here one is match is nginx.example.com if the entry point is web and if the request is coming in for http nginx.example.com then apply this middleware and the middleware says the redirect scheme is HTTPS 
and we've got another rule, another ingress route for the HTTPS, which is going through the web secure entry point. Again, it verifies if it's for nginx.example.com, then there is no middleware here. It redirects to the backend service nginx deploy main. And we've got the TLS cert resolver from our previous video. And let's encrypt. I need to change that to Pebble because that's what we deployed in the last video. So I'm going to edit this before deploying this and go to the end, change let's encrypt to Pebble, save this and create it. Kubectl create minus f3 redirect scheme.yaml. So as expected, we've got one middleware which is for the redirect scheme, and then one web entry point, and then one web secure entry point for TLS. Now, if we go to HTTP nginx or example.com, it should automatically take us to HTTPS site. Let's verify that, and let's also look at the dashboard. Yes, we've got two rules: one for the web entry, one for the web secure entry. And if I go to the web one, you will see the middleware here redirect scheme and if I go to the web secure one we don't have any middleware but we have this TLS the certificate resolver we are using is pebble okay let's go to nginx.example.com okay so I was going to http nginx.example.com but it's showing me an, a certificate error which is the the certificate that the pebble acme server has generated for us and I'm going to accept the certificate and it's showing you the web page and in the address bar you can see it's https maybe if I show you in chrome browser it will be easy so I'm going to nginx.example.com HTTP nginx.example.com and it takes me to HTTPS and I can look at the certificate it's issued by Pebble for nginx.example.com it all looks good and I'm going to delete this kubectl delete minus f3 and let's take a look at our final example for basic auth so to enable authentication it's not a complex one it's just a very basic HTTP authentication and you don't have to touch any application code you can achieve this using the middleware called basic auth right let's take a look at what's in the basic auth for dash basic auth dot example okay so there's this middleware that i'm using called nginx basic auth and i'm using this basic auth middleware and i'm passing in a secret which is called auth secret so i'm also creating a secret here basically the secret contains users and in the form of user and password so how do i how did i generate this using this command here so HTTP password if you don't have HTTP password um it's install it's available when you install the apache package okay so once you install the apache package you will have this command in your path and you can use this command HTTP password minus n maybe i can actually show you that if i close so that's minus n says don't Print, don't write anything to a file instead print everything to the standard out because we need to pipe and then encode it with base 64 and B is for don't ask don't prompt for password because I'm providing the password in the command line itself so that's my username and that's my password and I'm piping that to base 64 encoded format because that's the format you need to store your secret in so that gives me some uh, base 64 encoded data and I need to create a secret out of this so basically this secret this data contains the username and the password right let's take a look at this again for basic auth.yaml okay so I'm creating a middleware and I'm passing in the secret auth secret I'm also creating a secret naming it auth secret because that's what you're using it here and in the auth secret I'm passing in the encoded value of my username and password and down here I'm creating an ingress route so it's basically a web entry point the host is nginx.example.com please use this middleware called nginx.basicauth and then once it has gone through the middleware where it checks for authentication and if you provided the right username and password it will then forward the traffic request to the backend service otherwise it won't okay let's try this out create minus f okay so we've got the middleware we've got the secret that contains the user and password and we've got the ingress route that goes through this middleware okay we've got that let's take a look at the traffic dashboard nginx.example.com and we have this middleware and the type of the middleware is basic auth and users so that's the data from the secret that we created and it also it already has my username in plain text but uh, the password is still encoded now nginx.example 
http://hotstp.com and to make sure I'm going through HTTP, let me do this. There we go. So it's asking me for a username and password, which is very basic authentication. His name is Venkat, password is hello, and I'm logged in. Okay, so I'm going to do this again and give it a wrong password. It won't forward my request. So it, the middleware is responsible for validating this request. And if it doesn't, if I provide with the wrong credential, the request won't be forwarded to the, uh, the backend Nginx service. Let's try this out again. New incognito window, nginx.example.com. Right, asking for username, some random user, random password. Yep, it doesn't let me in. Um, I think I've covered all the things that I wanted to cover in this video. Yep, kubectl delete minus f. Let me clear up things. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in my next video. Until then, keep learning and keep on learning. Bye bye.